stomp, 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 Hey, everybody. Hello. Come on in. Welcome to the classroom. Roar! My dinosaur friends and I welcome you to the classroom and to Dinosaur Week. Woohoo! Dinosaur dance. It's Dinosaur Week all this week at Super Simple. We have new dinosaur songs, activities, and videos across our channels and on our website. And we're really excited to be celebrating something as amazing as dinosaurs with all of you. So thanks for being here today. Roar! Check this out. We have some pictures back here, some drawings that our friends have drawn from the super simple draw episode of dinosaurs. They made some really amazing dinosaur drawings, didn't they? I like that one over there because it's blue and blue is my favorite color. And it says, my T-Rex is blue. <laughs> it's really great. We have lots of fun dinosaur things to play with today. We're going to be searching in this big bin of sand for some dinosaur bones. Ooh, and I wonder what else we'll find. I can't wait. But first, let's give a big hello to all our friends watching. Hello, hello. I see lots of friends out there. Let's wave our hands, stomp our feet, and give a big hello to everybody. Big dinosaur hello. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Clap. Can you stretch up high? Stretch up. Can you touch your toes down low? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello. A big hello to our friend Raylan in California, a big dinosaur fan. I'm really excited to show you all our fun dinosaur stuff. Roar! A big hello to Aiden Sky and Arik River from the Philippines. Hello to Cooper and Crosby. Hello to Joanna from Brazil and Samantha from New Jersey. A big hello to Caitlin and Carissa back from last week. A big hello to Dante, Camilla and Carlos from Dubai, and Steven and Detalina. Roar! Let's stomp our big dinosaur feet. Here we go. Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Yeah. Can you stretch up high? Stretch up. Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello. A big hello to Teresa Rose from New Jersey, Anna Victoria, Adriana Rose, and Mommy. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Our friend Lauren and Valeria. A big roar to you, Valeria. To Vladimir Mex. To Cadence from the Netherlands. Jack Ryan and Scott from Seattle. Jack and Cole from Virginia. Ellis from South Africa, Ray Lee and Ryder from California, Ray from Japan, Jafar and Janan and Baby Orion. Thanks for hanging out with us. Let's wave one more time. Can you wave your little dinosaur hand? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Nice job, everybody. A big hello to everyone watching. Brandon from Manhattan and Edwin from Zimbabwe. Chloe from Trinidad. A big roar to all of you. That's how dinosaurs say hello. Now, a lot of our friends watching today sent us pictures for Dinosaur Week of them posing like dinosaurs. Some of them were like this roar, or like this roar. Let's take a look at some of those awesome dinosaur photos that you sent in. Let's see. This is Avery from the USA. And Avery looks like she has a big roar happening. Very nice. 
This is Camilla in Dubai, and it looks like Camilla's dinosaur has caught a special treat, maybe a salmon fish. Nice job. This is Carlos from Dubai, and Carlos's dinosaur looks like he stole some dinosaur eggs. Uh oh, an egg stealing dinosaur. Nice job, Carlos. This is Julius from the USA, and check out those dinosaur claws and those dinosaur teeth. Great work. This is Aiden or Aden. I hope I'm saying it right from the Philippines. Oh, look at that giant T Rex. Look at those teeth. Great picture. You're very brave to stand there. <laughs> this is Gigi from Canada. And look at that cape that Gigi has, jumping and flying like a pterodactyl. Gigi's cape was so great. We have two pictures. And this is a big red dinosaur cape. Big roar. Nice job, Gigi. This is our friend Caitlin from the USA who's watching today, and that's her big T-Rex. Look at those T-Rex claws. And you look very tall. Nice job. This is Maximo from the USA, but we can't, we can't really recognize him because he's wearing a big dinosaur head. Ooh, nice work, Maximo. Looking very scary like a dinosaur. This is Caden from the Netherlands, also wearing a dinosaur cape, a little uh, less scary and a little bit more very adorable. <laughs> This is Min from South Korea. Check out this dinosaur pose. I love your dinosaur claws. Looks like you're doing a big dinosaur stomp too. Nice, Min. This is Penelope from the USA. And it looks like this dinosaur is on the move. Big claws and big dinosaur stomps with a big roar. Nice job, Penelope. And this is Hein from the USA, looking very comfy and cozy in that dinosaur onesie, complete with spikes on the hood. Very nice. These are our friends Jack and Cole from the USA. I love those big dinosaur claws and that dinosaur shirt. Great work, Jack and Cole. Thank you so much, everybody, for sending in your dinosaur photos. Let's all pretend to be dinosaurs, okay? Let's get up on our feet. Come on, come on. We can't be dinosaurs sitting down. We have to get really big. Dinosaurs are so huge. Some of them, they're all different sizes. Let's be a big dinosaur. Get really, really tall up on your tippy toes and some dinosaur claws, even on your feet, big dinosaur claws. Let's see your dinosaur teeth. Rawr. Can you do a big dinosaur roar? Here we go. Rawr. Woo. How about some big dinosaur stomps? Ready? Stomp. 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 Rawr. Nice job. Let's pretend to be all different kinds of dinosaurs while we sing the song 10 Little Dinosaurs together. This week for Dinosaur Week, we have a new version of 10 Little Dinosaurs coming out with all new dinosaurs to sing about. We'll take a look in our window to see what dinosaur babies we can count. Don't forget to stomp and roar with me, everybody. And count along with me. I see a Stegosaurus. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs. Four little, five little, six little dinosaurs. Seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs. Ten little dinosaur babies. Nice job stomping and roaring, Scarlet and Abigail. Ooh, a Brontosaurus. Let's count together. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs. Four little, five little, six little dinosaurs. Seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs. Ten little dinosaur babies. Rawr! Nice stomping, Ava and Kesha. Ooh, this is a Triceratops. 
One little, two little, three little dinosaurs. Four little, five little, six little dinosaurs. Seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs. Ten little dinosaur babies. A big roar to Xander, Jake, and Taysom. Roar! Right back at ya. A pterodactyl. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs. Four little, five little, six little dinosaurs. Seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs. Ten little dinosaur babies. Valeria's favorite is the pterodactyl. Nice stomping, Evie and Clarky. Whoa. This is the T-Rex. We need some big stomps for this one. One little, two little, three little dinosaurs. Four little, five little, six little dinosaurs. Seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs. Ten little dinosaur babies. Big roar! Big roar to Owen and Carissa and Riley and Ellie. Roar to Eli. I see some big stomps. Nice job, everybody. That's so fun pretending to be big dinosaurs. Roar! Great job stomping, Caitlin and Riley. Willow likes the T-Rex. That's so much fun. Let's take a closer look at some of those dinosaurs that we sung about, okay? Let's see. Aha, this is the Stegosaurus. We can see these big plates on the back of the Stegosaurus's back, going all the way back. It's a pretty cool looking dinosaur, isn't it? But um, how do we know what dinosaurs look like? Hmm, that's a Stegosaurus, but if dinosaurs aren't around anymore, how can we tell what they looked like? Hmm, isn't that an interesting question? Well, we can guess, or scientists guess, what dinosaurs look like by looking at what they left behind. They left behind fossils. A fossil is something from long ago that's been pushed into the dirt or the ground like a stamp. And then it stays there for a long, long time. So we can see it today and we can tell things from those fossils. We find a lot of them in rocks or in the ground and they could be anything. They could be a dinosaur bone or they could be a leaf. It could even be dinosaur skin that's been pushed into the dirt like a stamp and it stays there for millions of years. Some fossils might look like this. Ooh, this would be an amazing fossil to find. So these are lots of different dinosaur bones put together so we can guess what a stegosaurus looks like. We can see those big plates along the back all the way down the tail. Pretty neat, huh? Let's take a look at another fossil. Ooh, see this one? Lots of different dinosaur bones. We can see that this dinosaur has a really long neck and long legs. It looks really tall. So scientists can guess that this dinosaur might look like this. Look at that. And then they name it. They named this dinosaur a brontosaurus. Keisha loves the brontosaurus. Let's pretend to move like a brontosaurus all together. So brontosauruses, they have really long necks. I'm gonna make our neck as long as we can. That's as long as mine will go. <laughs> and they have long legs, and they probably have really big stomps. Let's stomp like a brontosaurus. We go, stomp, stomp. Jack says a brontosaurus kind of looks like a giraffe. It does. They both have really long necks, don't they? Stomp. Stomp. 
Let's look at another fossil. See, look at this. This drawing is a fossil of another dinosaur. And what can we see from this fossil? I see some horns on this dinosaur's head. They have a pretty big head, don't they? And a horn on the top and a horn on the nose. So we can guess that this dinosaur might look like this. Ta-da! There it is. And they call this dinosaur a Triceratops. That's Jack's favorite. And I think it's Eli from South Africa. I think it's his favorite too. The Triceratops. Let's pretend to be a Triceratops all together. We're gonna need some horns. One over here, one over here. And pretend we got one horn on our nose too. Let's be a Triceratops and we'll charge forward. Ready? Go! Bling! <laughs> Let's try again. Get our big horns. Run, 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 run. Bling! Roar, Triceratops! James and Abner and Willow like Triceratops too. Yeah, Eli says his favorite's Triceratops. Let's get our horns ready. Got your horns out? Your big Triceratop horns? Let's go. Roar, boom. Very nice. Let's take a look at another kind of fossil. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Look at this one. So with these dinosaur bones, they put them together. It looks like there's two really long arms. Doesn't that look like arms or like really long fingers coming out of this dinosaur's body? Hmm. So scientists can guess what this dinosaur looked like and they guess that the dinosaur looks like this. And they called it a pterodactyl. Pterodactyls have big wings, but really it's just a long finger coming out on either side of their body with these big wings attached. Let's pretend to be a pterodactyl together. Spread out one big wing this way, one big wing that way. And let's flap our wings together like a pterodactyl. Ready? Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh! Yeah, we can pretend that they can fly. Caden got pterodactyl. Whoosh! Whoosh! And Penelope. Whoosh! Are you flying like a big pterodactyl? Big wings stretched out like a pterodactyl. We have a really neat pterodactyl puppet craft on the website that you can check out later too. Whoosh! Night flap. Nice flapping, Caden. Whoosh! Whoosh! Great job. All right, let's look at one more dinosaur fossil. It's really fun guessing what they're gonna look like. Look at this one. Oh, do you recognize this dinosaur fossil? Let's see. Look at those sharp teeth. And look at those sharp claws. Oh my. This looks like this dinosaur has really sharp teeth and sharp claws. Let's see what scientists guess it looks like. There it is, a T-Rex or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's some of our friends watching today. That's their favorite. Caitlin loves the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's pretend to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex all together. We need to get our sharp Tyrannosaurus Rex claws, our sharp Tyrannosaurus Rex teeth, and our big Tyrannosaurus Rex feet. Here we go, let's stomp, 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 stomp. Can you give a big roar? Here we go, roar! Ooh, scary, T-Rexes. Nice job, Kira Rose and David. T-Rex, here it comes, roar! Nice job, everybody. It's fun to pretend to be all these different dinosaurs and looking at their fossils. Let's see if we can find some dinosaur fossils looking in this bin of sand. Let's take a look. Ooh. So in this bin of sand, there might be some dinosaur bones and we can search for them like paleontologists. Now a paleontologist, it's a pretty big word, 
That's a scientist that studies fossils left over from long ago. Remember, we were talking about those things imprinted in the ground and in rocks that we can see today. And when paleontologists are looking for these things, they have to be very careful. So we have some special tools that we're going to use today. A brush, just like a regular paintbrush, so we can brush away the sand. Because all those things from long ago are very fragile. We don't want to break them before we can study them and see what they are. So we'll use a brush to get all the sand off. And we have a, a sifter here that we can sift through to find things. Okay, let's take a look. I'm really excited to see what we'll find in here. Some clues about dinosaurs long ago. I'm going to start, I think I see something over here. We'll start brushing away over here. Very cool. Well, Xander, Jake, and Taysom say they have a real fossil at home. These are all just pretend. That's pretty amazing. Sometimes you can find fossils, because fossils can be anything. Remember, they can be a leaf or they can be little fish. You can find them on the beach sometimes and other places. Look at this. We're finding some dinosaur bones. Okay, I'm going to be very careful and see if I can lift it out. Paleontologists have to be very careful. We'll get all of the dirt off, make it nice and clean. Let's take a look. Whoa. It's all these big dinosaur bones together. We can see a horn, a bunch of horns on this dinosaur's head. Paleontologists would study these bones and learn all kinds of things about the dinosaur. What they looked like, maybe what they ate, where they lived, all sorts of neat things. All right, let's find some more. Can you see any more dinosaur bones sticking out? I see some here. What do you think that is? Could that be a foot or maybe a tail? Get some sand away. It looks like it's a tail, doesn't it? I have to find all the rest. I have to be very gentle. Oh my, here it comes. Okay, I think I can lift it out now. Lift it out very carefully. Brush away all this sand. Get nice and clean. Look at this one. What do you see? All those big spikes along the back. It looks like they have some spikes back here on the end of the tail. Does this look like a dinosaur that you know? Maybe one of the dinosaurs we talked about? Let's see. All right, let's find another one. Over here, I think I see something over here too. What could this be? This looks like it's a tail. There's lots of sand on this one. Can you imagine being a paleontologist and finding a real dinosaur bone? That must be so exciting. And Cora did something like this, our friend Cora who's watching. She used a brush to find some bones at the Boneyard Museum. That sounds like fun. Let's push this out. We get all the sand out before we can pull it out. I'm digging, Ava. Dig, dig, dig. Get all the sand away. Okay, I'm gonna very carefully try and pull it out so we can get a closer look. Here we go. Whoa, look at this one. Brush these sand off. This dinosaur looks like it has little arms, doesn't it? It almost looks like he's clapping. Clap, clap. <laughs> all these dinosaur bones. Very neat. Wow, and we can learn so much from all these fossils. Willow says that you can find some fossils at the beach. This is almost like a beach, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to use our sifter, pick up some sand and see what we can find. Dig under here very carefully. Scoop it up. <gasps> Look at this. We found something. 
the sand off. The sand goes right through the holes. So all it leaves behind are the fossils. Brush, brush, brush. Looks like they're getting a little bath. <laughs> hey, I see some more horns. Two horns here and a horn on the nose and a big plate around the back of the head. Does that look like a dinosaur that you recognize? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Looks great. I want to find some more. There's got to be lots more in here. Okay. Ooh, look at this. What about this? Did you see this? I see something here. Raylan, can you help me? I'm gonna get all this sand out of here so we can see what we can find. Be very gentle. You don't want to break the bones, they're very old. Gotta get the head out, the head's still stuck in there. Brush away, brush away and dig. There it comes, it's out. This looks like another one that we found before. Brush all the sand away. Yeah, look at these horns along the head. Stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> awesome. It's really fun cleaning all the sand off of these fossils. Getting them nice and clean so that we can get a closer look at them. I think I see another one here. You take this off. Get all the sand away from here. Does this look like a tail? says this might be a triceratops. Oh, that last one. Yeah, maybe. Look at this one. Look at all these big plates along the back. Very neat. Get all the sand off. Okay, let's just see if we can find a couple more, everybody. Jack wants to find a brontosaurus. Hmm. Where should we look for a brontosaurus? Maybe... I see something. <gasps> it's not a brontosaurus, but it's another really neat one. Look! This looks like the pterodactyl we saw, doesn't it? With the big fingers for their wings. There it is. Flying! <laughs> that thing. You know, not do a very good pterodactyl sound. <laughs> a pterodactyl, really cool. Okay, let's find you a brontosaurus, Jack. Let's see if we can find one around here. Maybe there is, where should I look? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna start just looking over here. I don't see anything, but there's gotta be something around here. Maybe I'll scoop up some sand. Let's see. Oh, nothing there. Another one. Ooh, we found something. Brush the sand away. Look at all there. Look at this one. This looks a little different than anything we saw before. They have a big horn coming on the back of their head. Like that, see that? They have little arms here too, like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Neat, really neat. Oh, Dante's been to the Dinosaur Museum, the Field Museum of Chicago. That's really cool, Dante. Maybe we can find a Dontosaurus. <laughs> Dontosaurus? I don't know about that. Look at this dinosaur. There's so many dinosaur fossils in here. Let's keep looking. I'm gonna search over here. See what we can find. Anything? Hmm, nope, nothing there. How about over here? Nothing there. Oop, but something else came up. Let's brush the sand away. There we go. This is another one with those big horns on their head. Really neat. 
Okay, hopefully we find this brontosaurus soon. Ooh, here's a lot. Really cool. We are excellent paleontologists. <laughs> this is so much fun pretending to be paleontologists and looking for all these dinosaurs. I see something here. What's this one? This looks like a dinosaur with some long legs. There's lots of these little dinosaurs in here. <laughs> let's look, let's look for a couple more. Something over here. What's this one? Gotta be careful. Gonna scoop it up. Another dinosaur! Awesome. We're finding all kinds of different dinosaurs. Maybe there's not a brontosaurus in here. Let's do a couple big more digs. Nothing there. Wait a second. Look what we found. Check it out. What does this dinosaur fossil have? A long neck. Long legs. It looks like a brontosaurus. There it is. And we found another one. Look at this one. This one has a big plate all along the back of its back. The back of its back. <laughs> On its back. Very neat. Very cool. Xander, Jake, and Taysom have a trilobites. Real fossils. These are just plastic fossils. Well, let's take a closer look at these fossils that we found. I'm gonna bring them out over here. I'll push this aside. Whoa! It's big, heavy. Whew. It's like moving the ground. Let's take a look at these fossils. We can group them together in the different ones that we found. This looks like, oh, this fossil doesn't wanna stand. That's okay, you can lay down. <laughs> the pterodactyl. The dinosaur with a big plate. The brontosaurus. There's another one of these dinosaurs. The one with the big horn on the back of its head. We found a lot of these ones with the horns and the plates, didn't we? Look at this. The stegosaurus. Here's another one. Very neat. Here's another one with those horns on the back. So paleontologists would study all these dinosaur bones and fossils, and that's how we learn about dinosaurs. Isn't that neat? All these dinosaur bones. Great work, everyone. You are all wonderful paleontologists. Oh, I have another surprise for you. Okay, I'm gonna put these fossils away these pretend fossils. Now for this surprise, I need you to close your eyes and then I'll bring the surprise out, okay? Can we try that? Close your eyes, everybody. No peeking. I'm gonna bring the surprise out once all your eyes are closed. Are your eyes closed? What do you think are your eyes closed, Azriel and Sebastian? No peeking, Camilla. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. No peeking. Here comes the surprise. Let's take a look. To be very gentle. Here it comes. Keep your eyes closed. No peeking. Okay, now open them. <laughs> open your eyes. Look, we have some pretend dinosaur eggs. All sorts of different colors. I see some blue and green and purple. Aren't these amazing? Little dinosaur eggs. Oh, Keisha was peeking. <laughs> All right, with our dinosaur eggs, we'll take a little look. Oh, there's something inside. Let's see if we can get the dinosaur egg to hatch. Tap, tap, tap. Hello, little dinosaur. Are you in there? Tap, 
tap, tap. There's something inside. Come on, little dinosaur egg, let's hatch. Let's see, oh, it's hatching. <gasps> a dinosaur baby. Look at our little dinosaur baby. Hello, little dinosaur. <laughs> let's get the other eggs to hatch too. Okay, tap, tap, tap. Maybe we get the dinosaur egg to hatch. Hello, little dinosaur, come on out. River thinks it's gonna hatch. Okay, let's see. Here it comes. I hear some cracking. It's trying to come out. Hello, little dinosaur baby. <laughs> Another cute little dinosaur. This one's a green one. Hello, baby dinosaur. We got some more dinosaur eggs. How about we open up the purple dinosaur egg? Yeah, let's try that. Tap, tap, tap. Come on, dino. Hello, little dinosaur. Rong wants to say hello to you. Scarlet and Abigail like this pink egg. It's starting to crack open. Oh, it's hatched. And inside is a baby dinosaur. Baby dino. Welcome, baby dino. Now we have three baby dinosaurs. Teresa Rose likes the pink one too. How about this green one? Yeah, I love all the different colors on it. There's some green and yellow. These dinosaur eggs are beautiful. Let's see. Let's get it to crack open. Hello, little dinosaur. Come on out. We're all waiting for you. Is it going to hatch? Oh, it's starting to hatch. It's cracking open. Hello, little dinosaur. Come on out. It's peeking out. It's ready to come out and play. Come on out of your egg. There we go. Hello, little dinosaur baby. Thomas and Lucas say hello to the baby dinosaurs. We have one more egg to open up. Look at this one, I see some blue and brown. There's something inside here. Tap, tap. Hello, baby dinosaur. You can come out now. Misha says that the dinosaurs match the color of the eggs that came out. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> tap, 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 baby dinosaur. Last one. What's in the egg? Oh, here it comes. Come on, baby dinosaur. You can do it. Here he comes. Hello. Welcome, baby dinosaur. Come on out of your egg. Look at all our baby dinosaurs. Oh, they're so sweet and little. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five baby dinosaurs. Hello, baby dinosaurs. Thanks for joining us. You know, if we had 10 baby dinosaurs, then we could sing the 10 little dinosaurs song again. Hey, maybe those little dinosaurs are around here somewhere. And if we call to them, they'll come out. Do you want to try? Let's try calling to the baby dinosaurs. We'll see if they'll come out to play with us. Put this over here. Let's say on the count of three, Come here, little dinosaur. And we'll see if we can get the little dinosaurs to come out and play. Okay, on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Come here, baby dinosaur. Ooh, here they come. Hello, baby dinosaur. Come join our friends. We have two more baby dinosaurs. Oh, look, these are twins. So are these. <laughs> Hello, baby dinosaur. Thanks for joining us. Well, we still need a few more dinosaurs, don't we, to have 10 baby dinosaurs. Let's try calling some more on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Come here, baby dinosaur. Hmm, where are you? Here they come. I hear them. 
Stomp, 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 stomp. More baby dinosaurs. Hello, baby dinosaurs. A blue one. It kind of looks like a dark red one, doesn't it? Or kind of purpley. More baby dinosaurs. It worked. Great job, everybody. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more dinosaur. Let's say on the count of three, one more time. Come here, baby dinosaur, all together. I need all your help. Here we go. One, two, three. Come here, baby dinosaur. Ooh, here comes a baby dinosaur. The last one. Stomp, 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 stomp. Oh, look, it's like a stegosaurus sandwich. One on either side. Look at all our baby dinosaurs. Great job, everybody. We got all our dinosaurs here, and now we're ready to sing the song all together. Here we go. One, little, two, little, three, little dinosaurs. Four, little, five, little, six, little dinosaurs. Seven, little, eight, little nine, little dinosaurs. Ten, little dinosaur babies. Hello, little dinosaur babies. River wants to ride on one of the dinosaurs back. Can you imagine that? That would be a bumpy ride, I think. Let's sing one more time. We'll go down the other way this time. You can count with me. One, little, two, little, three, little dinosaurs. Four, little, five, little, six, little dinosaurs. Seven, little, eight, little, nine, little dinosaurs. Ten, little dinosaur babies. Great counting, everyone. Give yourselves a big clap. Well, we found a lot of amazing things, didn't we? Pretending to be paleontologists. Now, once paleontologists study the things that they found, what they found might go to a museum for everybody to see. I know some of our friends have already gone to a museum to check out some neat dinosaur things. And I took a field trip to the London Children's Museum in London, Ontario, to learn from their dinosaur exhibit too. And they had some pretty neat stuff that I got to see. So let's check out my field trip to the London Children's Museum dinosaur exhibit. Let's go. Dinosaur feet. <gasps> oh, scientists can tell how big a dinosaur is based on the footprints that they left behind. If a dinosaur's footprint is really far apart, that means the dinosaur must have been really big. I'm gonna see if I'm as big as the dinosaur that left behind these footprints. Nope, this dinosaur must have been really big. <gasps> like that. Wow, look at this dinosaur bone. It's part of a dinosaur leg bone that was around 154 million years ago. And this was just part of their leg. So this dinosaur must have been really tall. <laughs> I'm pretending to be a paleontologist. They dig dinosaur bones out of the ground. Look at these dinosaur teeth. These dinosaurs lived 77 million years ago. This dinosaur is a carnivore, which means they eat meat. 
because they have sharp teeth. This dinosaur was an herbivore, which means they eat plants because they have flat teeth. These are all carnivores. They eat meat. Do you know what dinosaur this is? Looks like a big dinosaur with big teeth. Let's see. Tyrannosaurus. These dinosaurs are herbivores, which means they eat plants. Let's see what kind they are. This is a stegosaurus. It has a long tail with sharp spikes on it. And this is a triceratops. This dinosaur has horns on its head. Ooh, a skin fossil. This is a skin impression of a Corythosaurus that lived 65 million years ago. The skin is scaly, like a lizard. Hmm. This is what scientists think dinosaurs might have sounded like. We are at the London Children's Museum and we are in this really cool dinosaur room with all these dinosaurs and our friend Jessie, who is a dino enthusiast. She's gonna show us some cool dinosaur stuff. Awesome. You wanna see the biggest one? Yes, please. <laughs> Always the big one. So this is a stegosaurus tail spike. Whoa, a tail spike? Yeah, so it sits on the end of his tail and there's actually four of them. Wow, this is like as big as a regular dog's tail. Yeah. Wow, that's... It must be a really big tail. I also have this really cool T-Rex tooth. So this part here is the part that you see when the dinosaur smiles. Uh -huh. And this part is the part that goes into his jaw. It's called the root. So if this was my tooth, my smile would be way up here. Yeah, <laughs> we only have little roots. Yeah. That must be a really big mouth. Ooh, sharp teeth. Mm. Oh. I have a really cool claw too. This is a baryonyx claw. Baryonyx is a kind of dinosaur? Yeah, it's a kind of dinosaur that likes to eat fish. So he actually uses it like a fishing hook in the water. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. So big, everything that dinosaurs have are so much bigger than what we have. Yeah. Now, the last one I thought it would be fun if you could maybe guess what it is. Oh, well we can guess, we like to guess. Yeah. Awesome. So I want you to hold it smell it and okay. listen to it and try and figure out what it is. Okay. Well, it feels really hard. Um, I don't hear anything. It doesn't really smell like anything. What do you it feels like a big rock. Yeah. So, um, I'll give you a hint. Okay. It's not a part of the dinosaur, but it comes out of the dinosaur. Oh, it comes out. Do you know what it is? I think I know. Is it dinosaur poop? It's dinosaur poop. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Well, why do we keep dinosaur poop around? Well, dinosaur poop, when it turns into a rock like this, it's called coprolite. And it tells us all about what the dinosaur ate when it was alive. Oh, really cool. So that's how we find things out about dinosaurs. Yeah. All right, you can take the poop back. <laughs> <laughs> That's really neat. Do you know what the biggest dinosaur is? What's the biggest one? So the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived were called sauropods, and they were actually plant eaters. Um, so the biggest complete skeleton, or almost complete skeleton that we found is an Argentinosaurus. Argentinosaurus. Because it was found in Argentina. And how do we know what dinosaurs look like if they're not around anymore? How can we tell that they looked like this? Yeah, so we find their fossils in um, a special kind of rock called sedimentary rocks. And um, from the bones that we find, we kind of make some guesses about what the dinosaurs used to look like. Oh, from the, all the fossils? Yeah. Very cool. That's really neat. Thanks, Jesse, for sharing all this with us. Yeah. And the dinosaur poop. Roar! Roar! 
Here comes the pterodactyl. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. A big thank you to the London Children's Museum for having us and for showing us all those amazing fossils. Did you guess that that fossil was dinosaur poop? <laughs> it was pretty funny. It felt really hard. I had no idea that there would be a dinosaur poop fossil. Isn't that interesting? But paleontologists can learn a little bit from everything that they find. I'm glad that you liked it. <laughs> And Camilla saw her Baryonyx, her favorite dinosaur. Sama wants to go check out this museum. I'm glad that you liked it, everybody. Well, I have something fun and interactive that you can try at home, just like I was having fun and interacting with all those things at the Children's Museum. We are going to make a dinosaur scratch card. Check it out. It's going to look like this. And then we can take a nickel or something like that and scratch it all away to see what's underneath the dinosaur. But first, I'm going to show you how you can make one of these all on your own. So, we have a couple different dinosaurs to choose from on our website and there's a link below. So you can choose between these different dinosaurs, print them out to make your dinosaur scratch card. I'm going to use this Velociraptor. Oof, look at those sharp claws and teeth. Oh my. So we'll cover up the uh, bones of the Velociraptor and then make the scratch card for it. And it goes like this. It's really easy. We're going to take some tape and cover the part that we want to paint over the scratch card. So put the tape like this. That's probably good. And we'll cut it with the scissors. Now we want it to go as flat as it can over the part where we're going to be painting. So right here, I'm just going to stretch it out as much as well as I can. It can be a little tricky. And swish it all the way down, just like that. And if you have any little air bubbles, just squeeze them out like that. There you go. So we have half of our Velociraptor covered. We need to get the other half too. So we'll get some more of this tape. Sometimes it's hard to find the edge of the tape, isn't it? Okay. We'll cut this end off. Like that. We'll put this down on the other side of the Velociraptor. Make it nice and tight. There we go. All the way down. Excellent. That was a good one. And you can cut the edges off too if you have extra tape on the side just to make it nice and clean like that and you can make a scratch card out of anything once you know how to make it there we go we'll cut the other side off awesome okay now we can pick pink color and you can use any pink color you want. You can get creative with our dinosaur colors. I have orange, green, and blue. I'm going to use orange for our Velociraptor. To make the paint that we're going to put over top, we need a little bit of dish soap. It can be any kind of dish soap. We want to add one part dish soap to two part paints. So we'll add a little bit of dish soap to this dish here like that. And then we'll add twice as much paint. Squeeze it out like this. There we go. I have a little um, popsicle stick here that I'm going to use to mix it together. Mix, 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 mix. And that's going to make the mixture that goes over the bones. And that way we can easily scratch it away. But the paint also makes it so that we can't see through it. So I think that's all nicely mixed together, don't you think? Yeah. Orange is a really bright color. Then we'll take our pink brush, dip it in the paint. And we're gonna paint just over the part that we want covered. So just this white border around here and all of the bones, like this. And I'll try my very best to go and stay inside the lines. <laughs> it can be a little tricky. Dinosaurs are pretty interesting shapes, aren't they? Take our paint and put it all over our dinosaur. 
this one. Like that, and then it'll be ready to scratch away. Now you can see, you can still kind of see through it, even with the paint. So what we have to do is once we finish a coat of paint, is let it dry and then put another coat on. We might have to do a couple coats of paint so that we can't see through it anymore. And then we won't know what's underneath until we scratch it away. I'm gonna try and get this everywhere. All over, here we go. Looking good. Now he has this long tail. Look at that long bone all the way to the end. There we go. <laughs> Trying my very best to paint in between the lines. Can be a little tricky. All the way. There we go. So now we would wait for this to dry, and you can use a hair blow dryer, and that'll make it dry faster. And then you would get ready to paint another layer on top. And after a couple layers, it will look like this. So you can't see through it at all. And then our dinosaur scratch card is ready to scratch. So I have a nickel here, a Canadian nickel. And you can use any sort of coin or anything that has a flat edge. And we're gonna scratch away at our dinosaur scratch card and see what's underneath. I'm gonna start here at the tail. Here we go. And look, the paint in the soap just scratches right away. Now we can see what's underneath. The dinosaur bones. You can see what they look like. Scratch, 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 scratch. Get all these pieces out. How about we try the head? It is pretty cool, isn't it? You can try this at home. If you try any of these scratch cards, make sure to share them on social media and use the hashtag Katie's Classroom. I was, I'd love to see what dinosaur you made? Which dinosaur you chose? Gotta keep scratching. Scratch, 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 scratch. Get all the orange off. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You make all this art and then you just scratch it away, but that's the fun part. Here we go, let's get all the orange stuff off. Look at that. Now we can see all the dinosaur bones of the Velociraptor. Really cool. It's really fun doing all these different scratch cards. And you can do any kind of scratch card you like. Awesome. Well, great work, everybody. We did a lot of things today, didn't we? And we learned a lot, too. We talked about fossils and paleontologists and learned all about different kinds of dinosaurs. <laughs> Keep tuning in to Super Simple for more fun dinosaur activities all this week for Dinosaur Week. Roar! And don't forget to subscribe to the Katie's Classroom YouTube channel. It's a whole other YouTube channel called Katie's Classroom that have lots of videos and field trips and songs, all that happen right here in the classroom. Oh, and I have a special announcement for all our Bumble Numb fans out there because there are new episodes from the Bumble Nums. The latest episode that just came out is, oh, the Bumble Nums are making boomerang banana splits. How delicious does that sound? Super yummy. And there's gonna be new episodes every Wednesday on Super Simple TV. So if you're a Bumble Nums fan, make sure to check out all the latest stuff that they're cooking up in the Bumble Nums kitchen. Isn't that right, Tyrannosaurus Rex? <laughs> All right, friends, let's stomp over there like a dinosaur to say our big goodbye. Ready? Here we go. Stomp your feet. Stomp, 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 stomp. Roar! Let's use our little Tyrannosaurus Rex hands to wave goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and we'll sing one more time to all our friends out there. Thanks for hanging out with us in the classroom today. We'll sing a big goodbye to everybody. I still got some orange paint on me. <laughs> Let's see a big wave. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. A big goodbye to Ferris from Jordan. Thanks for hanging out today, Ferris. Goodbye to Ramona and Valerie. 
Lachlan and Luis, Stephen and Detalina, to Caden from the Netherlands and Delilah and Arabella. Goodbye to Valerie and Junior from Mexico and Willow from Wales. Cheyenne, so, so, sorry, Cheyenne, Sanaya and Sadir from New Jersey. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Cooper and Crosby from Minnesota. A big roar. Goodbye from Scarlett and Abigail. Goodbye to Melian and Gil from Chile. Goodbye to little Joe. Goodbye, Azriel and Isaac. Thanks for hanging out with us. Goodbye to Raphael from Brazil. Josu from Mexico. And goodbye to Rocky in Mexico. Goodbye, River and Misha from Russia. Goodbye to Wesley, Xander, Jake, and Taysom, and Opal in Michigan. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Sierra and baby brother Chester. Nice to see you. Goodbye to Abner and Landon from Georgia. Goodbye to Cora and Eliza. A big roar to you. Goodbye from Isaiah from North Carolina, Fahid and Farah from Brazil. A big roar to Laura and David in Brazil. And a big goodbye to Ava from California, Adriana Rose and Mommy, and Raylan, our big fan of dinosaurs, and Vander from Canada. We'll see you soon, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.